If your internet speed is working just fine and all of a sudden it drops down to a crawl, your home router could be hacked. This is the router which is riddled with malware. I'm going to show you what happened and then I'm going to show you a home Wi-Fi router that has unbelievable security. It is not only easy to set up but has free ongoing security. But first, let's check this one out. Router is plugged in. Keep your eye on that time. It's currently 6.19 and we're getting what 800 or so megabits per second as a download and what 600 700 800 uh yeah 750 megabits per second as an upload now a minute later rerunning the exact same test it's 60 seconds later 500 megabits per second as an download speed and 20 megabits per second as an upload speed let's rerun it one more time at 621 that's a minute later look at that speed this is just ridiculous. As you saw, after a few minutes, the internet dropped like a stone. This is probably when the router connected to the hacker's network. This is called a botnet. Now, a botnet is a whole bunch of devices that are infected with malware and can be controlled to do a task by the hacker. And that task isn't good like directing all the devices to overwhelm a website so that it doesn't load, known as a denial of service attack. Or the botnets could be used to send out email threats, which are then traced back to you. So it's pretty serious. It goes way beyond someone stealing your bandwidth and you get slow internet. Now, the big question is, how does a hacker get onto your router in the first place? And what can you do to stop that? Now, to understand that without getting too technical, we need to understand the four main components that are typically housed inside a device that you get from your internet service provider. The first is the firmware. Think of it as the operating system that runs your device, much like Windows runs your laptop. The second is you get the modem. This is the bit that takes the signal from the internet provider and converts it into data so that you can get that internet access. The third is you have the router. This is the bit of tech that allows you to plug in your network cables or use the Wi-Fi. And the router's job is to manage all that data between your various devices and the internet. The fourth is you have a firewall. This is the bit that plays the roles of like immigration security at the airport. It looks at each piece of data and decides whether it can come into your network and what to do with it. From a purely security point of view, we're concerned about two of these components. The first is the firmware, which could basically be out of date. You see, manufacturers ship these out in container loads to various locations around the world so that when you buy it, it comes to you as quickly as possible. The problem is, by the time that you receive your device, you're still running that firmware that left the factory, which may have had several vulnerabilities discovered after it left the factory. So you get a device that's already full of holes. Priority number one is to make sure that your device is always updated with the latest firmware version. Any decent company will fix vulnerabilities and make sure those updates are available. So access your device, find the firmware section and check for those updates. This is going to be different on every device. So if you cannot find it on yours, just Google how to update my and then put in your device name and you should be able to follow the step-by-step -step prompts that you get there. The second issue that is making your router vulnerable is that firewall component. Home routers, modem, gateway devices, whatever you want to call them, have a firewall that's built in, and that isn't great right out the box. You see, manufacturers just want to make it super simple for you to get up and running. They are making these gateway devices for the masses. Not everybody is super tech savvy. Therefore, the firewall is set up in a way that it does the bare minimum so everybody can get online as soon as their device is connected. You must go into your router settings, look for the security settings and make sure that the firewall is enabled. You also want to make sure that you switch off UPnP, which means your router will ignore any connection request initiated from the web. Again, this is going to be different on each router. So Google yours if you can't find it in the settings. 
Now, the issue is that whilst this is all fair and good, as we know, hackers are continuously changing their tactics. So there is only so much the hardware device can do with the software that it has. But what if there was a home router that does everything we need to get great connectivity speed, but also has a big focus on security and we don't have to pay a monthly fee for? That is when I discovered the ASUS Zen Wi-Fi Pro ET12 and the Zen Wi-Fi X-T9. Looking through the website, I see that both these devices come with AI protection mode and instant guard. Now, I don't do fluffy marketing, so I reached out to ASUS and asked them a whole bunch of technical questions. They wanted me to actually use this and see for myself, and they even sponsored this video. So what do we actually have here, and does it actually work? Well, firstly, the ASUS Zen Wi-Fi Pro ET12 is a tri-band Wi-Fi 6E system with 12 streams of data. It has a combined total of 11,000 megabits per second speeds. It has 2.5 gig LAN port and a 2.5 gig WAN port in case you have such luxury of that kind of speed from your internet service provider. It can cover 6,000 square foot home, but obviously various factors such as distances and interference and thick walls will impact the speed. So these are maximum theoretical speeds. And in the box, you do get two of these to maximize that coverage. Now, moving on to the ASUS Zen Wi-Fi X-T9. This is a tri-band Wi-Fi 6 system that covers 5,700 square feet home with a total bandwidth of 7,800 megabits per second. It has a 2.5 gigabits per second WAN port and a gigabit LAN ports. And again, in the box, you do get two of these to maximize that reach. Now, usually I would be testing those Wi-Fi speeds, but I want to focus on the security element as both these come with ASUS's AI Protection Pro and Instant Guard. So let's start with AI Protection. What is that? Well, AI Protection uses Trend Micro to shield your routers and all connected devices from those cyber security threats without any ongoing subscription fees. To set it up, it's literally plug and play, and all you do is follow the prompts on the screen of the app. And this is what the app looks like when you initially set it up. You press the setup button, you select the type of router that you have, and just let it go through its thing. It's identified the router. And right from the outset, you can already see security coming into play because it doesn't have a default Wi-Fi name. You've got to give it a name. If you know what the default Wi-Fi name is, that's an easy way to identify this type of router. I'm calling it ASUS 245 on purpose because I want to make sure that I'm connecting to the right Wi-Fi for my testing. And look at the way that it's identified how strong or how weak your password is. Again, security is baked into this right from the outset. Then you just simply follow the prompt, but essentially it just does its own thing. It's setting up the network. It does some network optimization, but then it pops up the screen. Enable remote connection. This is important for instant guard, and we're going to deal with that shortly. So I'm just going to cancel that for now. And that's pretty much it. Um, that's the Wi-Fi. It's set up. It's ready to go. It's secure. I get a whole bunch of data so I can look at the screen visually. I can see it's one wireless device which is connected to it. That's currently in my phone. And of course, it, there's an update. There's a firmware update. That's what we spoke about earlier. ASUS pays a lot of attention to any vulnerabilities that were discovered, any optimization that it can do on its software. And the, one of the first thing you need to do on any device is check for any firmware update. Okay, now that that's going through, next up, we want to start looking at some of the security features that are built in. So we've got something called security insights. And the first thing let's look at is malicious site blocking. If you click on that, it actually gives you an information. You can see it's powered by Trend Micro. It restricts access to malicious websites. It's going to protect your entire network. Now, you've got something called two-way IPS. And essentially what that is, is intrusion prevention system. It protects any device connected to the network from spam or DDoS attack. It also blocks incoming packets to protect your router from network vulnerabilities such as shell shocked, heart bleed, Bitcoin mining, and ransomware. And it protects outgoing packets from infected devices and avoids that botnet attacks. And speaking of botnet, the last option, infected device prevention and blocking. 
This feature prevents infected devices from being enslaved by botnets or zombie attacks which might steal your information. See how this goes much further than just your typical firewall. But we're not done yet. Under the AI protection, you've got a whole bunch of additional options. Under the router security, it identifies things that you should be looking at, like UPnP is currently enabled. Does it need to be enabled? Probably not. We want to switch that off. So immediately you can see the items that you need to address. As you saw right from the beginning, there is a big emphasis on security. Even without any technical ability, you get superb security powered by Trend Micro. And if you do want to start playing further and using these enhanced features, it is really super simple to understand. And the best thing is that this is ongoing. I cannot emphasize this enough. I mean, we all have an antivirus on our desktops and laptops, and we keep getting those security updates and those virus definitions. But few of us still today have very little protection on our phones. Well, if you connect to the Wi-Fi, it will give you that protection without you having to do anything extra. To check that everything works properly, I go to what's my IP and I get my public IP address. I then copy that. I head over to a port scanner. This is the way that hackers will try hit your router to see if you've got anything that's open that they could abuse. And in this case, as you can clearly see, after eight seconds, there are no ports open. So that is AI protection. But what is this instant guard? Now, this is a neat little feature that I think has great potential. Instead of you having to go out and buy a VPN service from a VPN provider, Instant Guards allows you to become your own VPN provider. Essentially what that means is that if you're out of the house and you want to use the Wi-Fi at some coffee shop, you can fire up Instant Guard on your phone. It will then make a connection, not to the web, it will make a connection back to your home and then through your home out into the internet. And that entire connection is encrypted. So you control your data without another company being involved. You get the security from Trend Micro and there is no ongoing cost to you. This makes so much sense. Now, if your kids are like mine and they don't really think about data protection, this is brilliant. I have switched my own home's Wi-Fi router with this one now because now everybody gets the protection without them having to do anything. And it's great for internet speeds no matter what device they're using and no matter where they are around the house. I'm gonna have a link to both these devices in the description so let me know if you want me to show you those internet speeds and how these devices actually work. Now, to be clear, slow internet doesn't automatically mean that your router is hacked, but if you've got a slow internet connection, check out this video right over here. Hit the head down here to subscribe and let's get to that 1 million subscriber mark. Give the video a thumbs up if you liked it before you head out and I'll see you in this video or even this video or I'll see you in both. Let's go.